Constable program. It's absolutely spectacular. It's from 4 to 6.30, and it's going to be held at the home of Ed and Brenda de Alba. And I bring this up because it really is a fabulous event, and uh, it's usually sold out. So if you have an interest, um, uh, go to the Garden Oaks website and it can give you some more information. Uh, I was honored last Sunday um, to be at the unveiling of a historical plaque in the Heights. It's fantastic. It was um, the site of the first school in the Heights that was established by Daniel Denton Cooley, uh, who is regarded as father of the Houston Heights, and Helen Grace Winfield Cooley. And um, I will say what was terribly exciting was that Dr. Cooley was there to unveil uh, the plaque, and, and that was wonderful. The school. Uh, actually continued until about 1980. There had been a fire, it had been rebuilt. In 1980, it was closed and it was turned into an administrative building by HISD. Now it's a resident, a residential um, facility, uh, a home. And uh, But the plaque is right out there. And uh, Heights has amazing history. If you haven't had the opportunity to walk or bicycle or just walk, for, you know, just be there, it's fantastic. And finally, I just found out this morning that my very good friend, and a friend to many of us, Kenny Friedman, who is president of Houston Sports Association, his son Andrew, who uh, was with the, uh, the Rays, is now um, the LA Dodgers president of baseball operations, which is terrific. Andrew is one of the youngest, um, the youngest person ever uh, to take the position uh, that he had with the Rays, and now to, uh, to go into the LA Dodgers um, they're an outstanding family, and I know this makes Kenny very happy. Congratulations.